We keep on reinforcing the idea of I. We keep on reinforcing the illusion of ourself, our ego, our person, our psychological structure. And to reinforce that illusion, we are looking for strong fix. We need identification, so we are going to create identification through anger, through fear, or the compensation of those fear. Compensation drops, anger arrives, but anger always covers up fear. So the idea is to observe the fear without being taken by it. And fear, at the end of the day, is just electricity in our nervous system. So everything is linked to the quality of your distancing. Just observe, just stay silent. Don't let this jumpy ego structure take you, because it will always try to take you. It's really interesting when you meditate and you decide to sit in silence for half an hour, how the system will keep on throwing salts uh, uh, in order to create identification and to create a disconnect. Understand the logic of defense of your ego system is absolutely key, because it's mechanical, it's not intelligent. It creates irrelevant pattern, which makes you run away. And the pattern the ego uses is always to run away from what puts it at risk. That's why we have go to the pleasant, avoid the unpleasant, the top layer, right below the choice of least arm, which we keep on reproducing again and again and again, linked to the basic trauma we carry below. The best available concept to tag those trauma are guilt and low self-worth. And when you succeed in life, whatever it is, it's always a well-driven compensatory behavior. So, real success in life is to get out of this world of life, is to go to the next level, is to build this body of energy which is in you. I don't know if you remember the Bhagavad Gita. A lot of people have read the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Krishna said to Arjuna, a man out of 10,000 seeks me, and it's only one out of 10,000 who seeks me who find me. So, the idea is to crack the shell. The idea is to become fully conscious, fully alive. You're not going to become Superman. You're just going to be, just to be, just to taste what it is to be alive without you.